There's a Des Moines Register and Bloomberg poll in Iowa, and it basically asked the Republican voters why they like Ben Carson so much. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Ben Carson recently took the lead in Iowa. Uh, and the reasons they give for liking Ben Carson, sheer lunacy. So first, let's go to the more banal answers. So there were some things that they said which made sense, kind of, sort of, a little bit. But then as we move along here, you'll see it gets progressively more and more crazy. So 96% of Iowa Republicans say they like Ben Carson because he approaches issues with common sense. Now, I don't think that's true, but nonetheless, the reasoning itself is not crazy. They're saying, okay, well, I think he supports, he makes his mind up based on common sense. Okay, fair enough. He has an inspirational personal story. Hmm, that's certainly true. I can get behind that one. That's, that's true. I mean, you know, one of the best neurosurgeons ever. Can't deny that. 85%. Uh, say that that's the reason why. Uh, he is not a career politician. That can be a good thing or a bad thing, but I don't I don't begrudge them that. That makes sense. 85% of them say uh, that's the reason why we like him. He was highly successful as a neurosurgeon. Again, that one makes sense. 88% say that that's why they support him. He has said he would be guided by his faith in God. Okay, now we're getting a little weird. We're getting pseudo-theocracy-like here. 89% say that's why they like him. It gets crazier. He has said that Hitler might not have been as successful if the people had been armed. 77% say that's why they like him. He made this comment, it was in the context of discussing, you know, Jews in Europe at the time. <laughs> they were all armed, they weren't able to stop it. You do realize the Nazis were a gigantic army. <laughs> uh, what? How, you have some some Jews running around with rifles? They're going to be able to stop the 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 army, the Nazi army? Oh, the fucking French military. They, Hitler took over a tremendous swath of Europe. Other armies couldn't stop the Nazi army. You think a bunch a bunch of Jews carrying rifles? Oh my god, that's so ridiculous. 77%. Gets even fucking crazier. He has raised questions about whether a Muslim should ever be president in the United States. 73% say that's why they like him. We played the comments on the show where he said very clearly, yeah, no, I, I wouldn't I would never support that. I would I would not be okay with a Muslim being president. So as a matter of principle, I would not be. Doesn't matter if we're talking about a secular Muslim, doesn't matter if we're talking about somebody who he agrees with on every other political issue. At I just know to Muslim presidents across the board. 73% are like, that's why I like him. He hates the Muslims. All right. And the craziest one of all. He has said the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, is the worst thing since slavery. 81% of Iowa Republicans say... That's why he's my man. And the pollster was actually kind in, in, in the, the framing here and in the phrasing. Because that's not re really the only thing he said. He also went on to say, it is slavery in a way. That's what he said about Obamacare. Obamacare is slavery in a way. 81%. Yeah, Obamacare is the worst thing since slavery. Obamacare is basically the opposite of slavery. <laughs> now, in my opinion, it doesn't go far enough. I would have, uh, I would have preferred a Medicare for all system, a single payer system, as I've spoken about time and time again. But we're talking about a piece of legislation that expanded Medicaid in the states that fucking accepted it, so you cover many more poor people, and it's an individual mandate for people to buy into a private health insurance system, which the Republicans say they like, and more people are covered, and not to mention all the other positive aspects of this like it back back before Obamacare sometimes health insurance companies would spend 50% of their money on overhead and only 50% on care under Obamacare at least 80% of the money has to now go to care that saves lives it, it's unbelievable the ban on pre-existing conditions that saves lives they go nope that's the worst thing since slavery <laughs> having better health care is the worst thing since slavery 81% Say, that's why I like him. Because he said something that is factually incorrect and absolutely absurd. 
lunatics, lunatics. Don't give me false equivalence nonsense. Don't give me this bullshit that, you know, Iowa Republicans are the same as California Democrats. It's just not true. They believe absurd things that are false, that are false. And Ben Carson always goes into this tap dance when you talk about this stuff, where he says, why are you being so politically correct? Why are you calling, out, calling me out of my bullshit and being politically correct? No, I'm not being politically correct. I'm being correct. You are incorrect. I'm not offended by what you're saying. What you're saying is just wrong. It's not true, so I'm calling it out. How dare you call me out? How dare you fact check me? That's politically incorrect to fact check me. For fuck's sake, they got all these tricks now. And uh, for those of you who think Carson might not be as crazy as these Iowa Republicans are, Chuck Todd asked him why he's so calm and low energy over the weekend. He was on Meet the Press. Listen to what he said. He said, quote, I have plenty of energy, but you know, I am soft-spoken. I do have a tendency to be relaxed. I wasn't always like that. There was a time when I was, uh, you know, very volatile. But, you know, I changed. As a teenager, I would go after people with rocks and bricks and baseball bats and hammers. And, of course, many people know the story when I was 14 and I tried to stab someone. And, you know, fortunately, you know, my life has been changed. And I'm a very different person now. Who says that? Hey, man, why are you so calm and relaxed all the time? You know, I wasn't always like this. There's the time I tried to stab somebody and kill them. There's the time I used a baseball bat and a hammer. There's the time I used to actively try to do physical violence on everybody in sight when I was a teenager. But many people know this story. No, they don't. I didn't. I follow politics closer than anybody in the country. I didn't know this story. What the fuck is... What is this? <laughs> and the, the Republicans and I were like, that's my man right there. Try, you're a psychopath when you're a teenager who doesn't care about anybody else. Try to kill people. Neurosurgeon in the middle, credit to the neurosurgery part. And then, you know, out the other end you have just flat out untrue statements, compare everything to slavery and the Nazis, be a, just a lunatic. And they're like, I like him. I like him. He's our token black guy. What did I say that out loud? I mean, I like him because of this other stuff, which is also stupid.